all right hello guys you are welcome to another tutorial so today is uh, we are talking about wordpress so we'll be running through wordpress installation and i will show you how the wordpress dashboard looks like so in this series all you're going to be needing is just your laptop or a computer or whatever thing you'll be using for your designs and you need to download a particular software online which is called the x arm saver so today i'll not be telling you how like uh, guiding you on how to purchase a domain name because we have to learn it we know it we perfect it before we go take our skills online so we'll be working on our local saver so what you need for this course you basically need to like be connected and then you go on google you just type x amp so when you type x amp this, this comes out so what you're gonna do is the first link you see here is for x arm saver so you click on it when you click you have you just scroll down a little bit you have uh, the download option here which you can download for the windows you can download for <coughs> for linux and you can download for the mac os so depending on what uh, operating system you are using you can download it from here so i'm using windows i can click here since i already had it downloaded already have it downloaded so what's next is the installation process so while installing XAM you just have to double click on it you agree to the terms and conditions of the uh, the team and you just follow step by step procedure and then you get XAM installed in your machine and you also choose the directories where it is installed so after when you install XAM in your machine like after downloading and double clicking and installing the .exe file all you have to do is to open your your files so when you open files here you have to go to your local dc in your local dc you search for where the xam is since my xam has been installed in the xamp folder i double click it so what you have to do is you have to come and look for this htdocs folder over here this htdocs folder you double click and you delete everything that is in it so since i was already working with xam i already have it installed so i already have some uh, websites there in which i was working on so on my local host so the next thing you have to do is to dive into wordpress.org I'll be leaving links in the description so that you can get there without any problem to, the, to download the XAM and to get the WordPress. So you go right on to wordpress.org. You just type on your search bar wordpress.org. So when you get here to wordpress.org, you have to come and click on this button, get WordPress. So what basically happens is that you want to download the latest version of WordPress that is available in the market. So you click on get WordPress so when you click on get wordpress basically it asks you you just scroll down to download wordpress version 5.9 so you download it over here so <clears throat> it is downloading and the size is just 19.7 megabytes so of space so it has been downloaded so what's next you go to your local disk again you go to download sorry when you go to download this is the wordpress file so what you have to do is like you unzip it like so you extract or you unzip it so we want to extract it to the download and just, just like that so you extract this file so it will take you a quite bit of time to extract the wordpress file so as the wordpress file is extracting let me just dive into like explaining to you something about wordpress so basically when working with wordpress you can work with wordpress online and you can work with wordpress offline so working with wordpress offline you need a saver so this is what the saver basically does is that it hosts it on your local machine that means nobody in the, on the internet can access it or can see what you are working on only you can work and see or except you guys are connected into one local area network in which now they can access and see what you are doing on your machine so secondly about wordpress online is you have to host it now on your hosting service so you purchase a hosting service you purchase a domain name and then where you host your website you install wordpress on your C panel and from there you proceed so at the end of this course I'll be diving on to purchasing a domain name and hosting service, linking, installing WordPress, and we'll just rush 
building a site there. So I will just go ahead and post the video since it's taking too long to install and then I will resume back when it is done. All right, guys, you are welcome back and I'm already home. So I left school as I posted the video. I had to leave because I had an emergency. So uh, it, the file, WordPress file is done extracting. So what you do, this is the file here, which when you open the file, you have something there, WordPress. And when you open it, you see series of files, PHP files, index.html files, and other included files. So what you do is you come to this file here, you will rename it to the, web, uh, the website you want. Maybe let's just say WordPress course. Okay, this is what we want it to be. <clears throat> so we're gonna we will save it this way, and we're gonna like cut it from here by right clicking and cutting it. So you enter into your you enter the uh, local disk C. You go to your ZAM XAM saver, and then you go to the htdocs folder and you paste it there so you paste it in the htdocs folder guys don't forget before i told you guys that when you want to get started after installing zam you enter the htdocs folder and you delete everything that is found in the htdocs folder because whenever you are uh, you want to you get a, uh, the word download the wordpress file you extract it and you rename it you paste it in here because that will be your website okay basically what we have to do is first you have to go to uh, the your C directories and you open to the XAM. You scroll right down to where you see XAM control. So you double click there. So when you double click on this, it will open this interface. So when it opens this interface, what you have to do with the XAM is just to click here because normally here, let me say you have initially this is how it will be so you have to come and click on the apache you click start here and you come to the mysql you click start so that is basically all so after you click this to start you can minimize it don't close it you minimize it then now you open your like just say local host so when you type local host it displays all the files that uh, the folders in the local host drive so this is the one we just placed inside the local host so you have to click it so when you click on it now it says welcome to wordpress before getting started we need some information on database you will need this, this. so when you come here you still have to come and type localhost slash php my admin so you type localhost slash php my admin and you click enter so what this does is that it will load the database the mysql database that is found in the xam saver so when it loads it we're gonna we, were, we have to create a database for the site so what you do is you come and click on here databases and you just come and put the database name they just, just say word like word so you just click on create and the best thing about wordpress is that you just do this part of it and everything works automatic you don't you don't uh, you don't need to come back and set the tables give attributes no it works automatic so when you come here guys follow what i'm doing so on the database name you put what which was the database name that we just created on the username portion you write r double o t root in a password you leave it blank and here you allow this local host and wp you submit so you click on run installation so you come here you have to put your site title so our site title should be wordpress site your username you can be the admin let me just use the admin and your password here you can either copy this one and keep somewhere or you rename the password or you re-enter re the password let's just give a password something like um let's say okay so very weak you come and click on confirm weak password and then you can enter your email here and then you click on install wordpress so successfully installed wordpress thank you so you click on login 
So when you click on login, if you have ever used or uh, uh, logged into any WordPress website, you see this is always the interface you find. So the highest probability about this one is that you get to create something on offline because majority of the people that give you courses on WordPress don't teach you how to do it on a local host. So if you are someone like a student trying to follow up and you don't have money to purchase a domain name or to purchase a hosting service, you'll find it difficult. But this course is the absolute best course for you because you will need no money to get started so you just learn so we just put the username here as we created we was admin and our password was something so we click on lock in so when we click on lock in basically it is taking us into the site so this is the first thing you see if you have ever logged into the your wordpress site guys like to the back end of a wordpress site this is basically what you see so guys if you want to see your like you want to check out our site and see what we have in the name of our site like this is how our site looks like hello world that's all so this is all so wordpress site that is all so what are you gonna do as our courses goes forward i will show you guys more and more on how to add more functionality to your site but now let me explain what you see here this one here is the menu bar where you have the different menus that you can choose and target anywhere this one here the display portion of it that displays whatever thing you click on the menu for example if i click on post you see it will tell us that there's just one post and obviously we have to trash this post which displays hello world you can come to pages all pages you create your pages in your website and by default wordpress comes with the privacy policy page and the sample page you can check on the comments someone may have commented on your site so when you come on the back end you as the author of the site you this is where you check your comments you check the appearance you can check the theme you change the appearance of your website for example this is the appearance that is there if we can like choose a different theme, we can activate this one and after activating this you come over here you can refresh this site you see the theme here will change so this is a theme and from the previous tutorial if you watch and follow up so well you know what a theme is and a plugin is so over here also you can check on plugins install plugins you add plugins so basically plugins are just like applications that add more functionality to your website you can check on the users maybe you have wanted to have multiple users such a way that they can log in you can create a user and just like that so you take on tools you see many tools that are available over here you have import export site here this this you can also go to settings and in settings here you can set your site title of which you already did so here you can like you can still update your site title you come to the tagline of your site you can update it the local host the wordpress address this is it a site url this your email then if a new user is coming a new user should come as a subscriber contributor author so you are the one to choose so all of these all of this all of this so basically that is it so you can come to writing and you check your but what i always advise you to always do is to always come here to prima links so when you come to prima links what i want you to choose is uh where it says post name so you want every of your posts not to come in such confused form so every post comes with a post name yeah so you always click here this post name and you click on save changes so for today we are done with the course so guys you can all go rush up download your xm saver you download wordpress and you extract it after extracting you run the installation process you can watch the course from time to time to check out whatever thing you did not understand from there so in our next course i'll be showing you how to install external themes and also how to install plugins how to edit your first page your, your first front page and make it look real good so i really love what you guys are doing i love the support i appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed to the channel do so by clicking the subscribe button and also to support this video i just want you to click that thumbs up button by just saying hey man that's some good work and also check some links in the description in the description below of the previous videos that we have passed along the series and also i will also leave the link to for you to download the xm saver in the description below 
and the link to download WordPress also in the description below. So I love you all. I thank you all for watching and following up through this course. And I just want you guys to stay tuned as I will drop the next video real sooner. So guys, at the end of this course, you'll be able to build wonderful website and like you really be good in, in in it yeah so i thank you all for watching give the, this video a like and if you haven't subscribed do so by subscribing and we'll see you in the next tutorial thanks guys thank you